Hey everyone, it's Andrew Cartwright here. I hope you guys are doing good in this crazy, like, who's it gonna be day. Here's your unemployment update for Thursday, November 5th, 2020. You know who I'm talking about. We're trying to figure out like which ways things are gonna go, right? Find out why this week's jobs report, once again, was good news for the US economy. Yes, some good news. How one state is providing an additional seven weeks of unemployment benefits. Yes, seven more weeks and what could be the conclusion of the LWA saga as the last state has finally announced a payday after this. For the best news and information to master, dominate, crush, destroy, no, well, don't destroy it, keep it, your money, business, and life, stay tuned to the channel. Also, as a tradition here, if you put a comment, like, and subscribe, we're giving you $1,100 away when we hit 110,000 subscribers. Yes, what a community. You guys rock. So comment, subscribe, like the video, and you're entered to win $1,100. Grab your Weeble stock down below. You can get money right now. Open up an account, fund it with $100, get three stocks for free. One could be valued up to $1,400. But first, it's our Thursday tradition to examine the weekly jobs report from none other than the Department of Labor, the DOL, the down low, right? So let's get into it. This week's report once again brought good news for the economy for the, get this, three weeks in a row. Yeah, like we should be celebrating that. We're like, yeah, thank God. Three weeks, I'll take that. I'll take three good weeks, won't you? As the actual figures were lower last week, but did not exceed the economists um, for the Dow Jones. You know, those guys that throw darts and hope they get it, but that's what the whole market's based on is what they think. The weekly report showed that 751,000 Americans filed their first time unemployment claim. Now that's never good. I don't want anybody to have to file for the first time which it is down from the previous week of 758,000 initial claims. I'll take the 7,000 less any day. These numbers are also slightly higher than the 741,000 initial claims predicted by economists, but still show the economy is recovering. So all that being said, the Greek that I just gave you, Bosselinica, that's actually Greek. I went to Greek school, believe it or not. But it's good news. We're moving in a good direction. Peter Volkover, he's the chief economist over at Bleakley Advisor Group, explains, quote, this is his quote, bottom line, overall, the labor market continues to repair itself, but the pace at which it is doing so is slowing down. So as long as we're moving in the right direction, maybe, you know, we want the rabbit pace instead of the tortoise. Remember the rabbit and tortoise? Did I just show my age? Well, I know one way to speed up the process, pass another stimulus package, it's so obvious, with an extended enhanced unemployment benefit so people can actually pay their bills. Maybe have a Thanksgiving, even though it was canceled, I guess, or you can only have six people in some states. Meanwhile, the great state of California recently announced that they will be offering PUA claims in the state an additional seven weeks of payments. Yes, so the PUA claimants in the state an additional seven weeks. What happens if you have like eight kids? Does that mean you have two kids and you say, hey, you can't come because we can only have six at Thanksgiving? So you have to pick which kid you want to have at Thanksgiving? I don't know. It, weird dilemmas this year, right? Providing vital unemployment benefits during the costly holiday season, which is what I'm talking about, some of the struggles with the holiday season. Californians, and this is California I'm talking about, California collecting PUA benefits will now be eligible for 46 weeks of state unemployment funds impacting 1.3 million people. And we hear you, California. We know tons of you are not getting your money, even though you've been trying since March. Oh my God, that's just crazy. In the comments, if you read them, you're like, holy, unbelievable. The California EDD explains, quote, eligible Californians will be notified about when they can certify for benefits through their unemployment insurance accounts or by mail, as we know, there's, they're rampant with fraud, especially when a rapper can rap about getting $1.2 million from the EDD and he got rich and arrested and is going to jail. This is amazing news though in the state 
of California that has had quite a few issues, including that wrapper, with their unemployment system. And I hope that this new extension offers the financial support for millions of y'all out there. I have thousands and thousands of people, like literally 4,800 people that I know personally in California. They're in my phone. Yeah. Finally, we've been waiting for the Alaska to hand out their LWA payments for even longer than we've been waiting to see who will be president. Yes, believe it or not, you, we had the glitch in the system, the when's it gonna happen, we're testing, and then we're not, and then we are. Yeah, well, following their computer delays and the missing holiday Halloween disbursement deadline, they were supposed to get the 31st, it looks like Alaska is finally ready to pay out unemployment claims in the final frontier. So congratulations, Alaska. Congratulations, California. Unemployment claims in Alaska can expect to see those payments begin. Guess when? Tomorrow. So you may get paid before we get a president and should arrive as a lump sum of eight, $1,800, which is far better than Nevada. What's this half and half stuff in Nevada? Um, Tempka. Letterbert, Alaska's labor commissioner, stated, quote, I am pleased that the funding is now ready to be dispersed at a critical time to help Alaskans impact by, impacted by the pandemic. She's probably thinking, I better resign it like, they, like the lady in California if I don't get people paid. Can you imagine her doorstep? Like, and if you want a job right now, you can probably count votes or get on the team that's going to be on whatever side that's going to be arguing some craziness to figure out the election. I'm so happy for everyone that's been waiting for the benefits, that $1,800 unemployment check. This is, they'll be able to put it to good use and put it into their economy, which is isolated in some parts of Alaska. All they rely on is tourism and tourism from people who have gray hair. And if they're not on a boat coming into those ports, they don't have any money. That's serious. If you've been to like uh, Alaska, and uh, you know who I'm talking about. It's, it's really tough. If you still haven't applied for your, LW, your unemployment assistance, stop waiting, apply today. Don't miss out on these funds. Visit your PUA or your unemployment insurance website, right? That's gonna, basically, it could be two different websites. That's why I say them separately. Provide them with your employment history if you've paid into it, or lack thereof, you wanna go the PUA route, if that's the case, and let them know that you're currently out of work due to, yes, the, the labor force being down and the virus, right? For your efforts, you could get in a check for $10,000 backdated for eligible people that are unemployed, it's incredible. You can, you can go all the way back to March and every week that you did not work, please don't lie, don't commit fraud. That's a crime, people go to jail for that, I'm just saying. And to all those gig workers, self-employed, independent contractors, 1099 workers, even side hustle, volunteers, freelancers, every state across America is offering these PUA benefits. So don't think you're being a criminal by applying for unemployment because you didn't pay into the system. You're still eligible. Don't miss out on the chance to receive these amazing, unprecedented, unbelievable, never probably gonna ever happen again, I hope. I hope this never happens again. These government unemployment benefits before they expire December 31st. And please, keep sharing your PUA experience. Sharing is caring. It also pays. We're giving $1,100 away. We had 110,000 subscribers, which were that close. So make sure you share your experience with the PUA and unemployment benefits in your state. Be safe. And it's truly incredible watching this community just grow. And I can't, I, I just can't thank each and every one of you enough for watching the channel and providing the valuable input that you provide. I mean, your comments are amazing, sometimes radical, sometimes crazy, sometimes fun, sometimes witty, sometimes scary, but every single one we read and love it. So thank you for commenting because that interaction, that audience interaction, so much fun. It's like so alive, right? Thank you for watching. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Take care. Love you. And also, we give shout outs to people that have, you know, really, really cool comments as well as uh, our patrons, which is awesome. People who sign up for a patron. So take care. Love you.